Okay, in this video clip, I am going to brief you on one of the modified weaving technology that is jacquard, introduction to jacquard. I already gave introduction to dobbies. Jacquard, dobbies and the basic views, basic views, plain view, 12 view, certain view, these are the basic views. Based on these three views, the modified other broken broken twill, herring bone twill, leno twill, so many views, basket view, matty view, so many views are modified. Even though modified, but they have the limitations in giving the texture or appearance or look or combination of the color on the fabric. Maybe a geometrical square, rectangle, whatever it may be. But to produce a flower, to produce a stars or small small motifs, okay, but this plain view, till view will not help in getting the motifs. That is art. There is an art. There is see, I am having this is a small motif, whatever it may be, I have drawn here. Or you take you can take a diamond, you can take diamond or or whatever the triangle you take or any like this whatever the designs you take or small small circle you take if you okay this small small motifs whatever are there this is okay say small flower you take okay the small flowers these are the small motifs placed on the fabric at a particular intervals can be achieved by means of the dobby, dobby weaving. Dobby already please visit my uh, one more video that is dobby views. Okay, in that I explained uh, in detail about the dobby views. Dobby view in dobby views for the same the basic looms, basic looms that may be hand loom power loom or auto loom, water jet, air jet, whatever the auto loom, whatever the loom, the extra, the additional attachment mechanism is attached to the loom to insert the picks required to produce such a uh, motifs. These are not possible by plain view, twill view or certain views or broken twill views. Okay, that, that extra attachment is the mechanism is called the dobby attachments. Do from the dobby, the number of shed can be formed. Main intention behind using of the dobbies instead of plain or basic views or instead of only simply add looms is only to allow the increase the number of sheddings number of sheddings in the looms. In basic looms without any attachment, only the warp and weft interlacement. How many two number of picks are insert is, insert is possible, four number of picks in one shed, four or five or six shed can be inserted. But that, is, that will not produce a motif or a designs. To produce a star, to produce a flower with petals, a flower with different color petals, a triangular structure or a diamond texture, whatever to produce that, there is a sequence of uh, head, head should be removed, sequence of head, uh, heads or shed to be formed. At, as per the requirement of the motif, as per the requirement of the uh, design, the threads insertion, okay, that will be a color insertion or maybe the calculations involved, the pattern involved in how either warp has to come up or weft has to come up, next weft has to come up or warp has to come up or three warp has to come up, one weft has to go down, like to produce a flower appearance, to produce a diamond structure. Minimum, how many heels are required? Minimum 16 to 18, more than 10 heels are required. 
that is not can, cannot be accommodated in a machine simply a loom without a dobby or anything okay in plain view two heads are enough for satin or brocade wool or anything four or six maximum eight heads can be operated but by means by if the dobby is attached 16 28 or 40 42 up to 40 more than 40 also can be heels are operated heels are lifted to in heels are lifted heels you know please refer my dobby views okay heels are number of heels are up to 40 heels okay heels are as per the requirements of thread insertions but for dobby also there is a limitations dobby can produce such a motifs or such a i mean dobby can produce such small small motifs at a particular uh, interval of space or a horizontal space or rectangular space uh, vertical space but that is limitations but to cross this limitations still more art is required art artists are there the the is called the cultural arts or fine arts that can be produced the design which is having more complicated in nature the painter the painter is painting on the paper or wall or any other white background by using number of colors n by using num n number of colors he is painting the any floral paintings or for any ki- any kind of paintings he can do even humans or any what he is having concept with number of colors is it possible is it is it possible to incorporate such a painted such a drawings or designs in the fabric is it possible print can be possible print is possible because if the person is drawing whatever the design is drawn on the white paper that can be transferred as a painting screen or on the fabric that is printing of the fabrics but the thing is by interlacement of warp threads and weft threads such a complicated designs the artist who is painting on the wall who is painting on the paper that art has to be incorporated in the fabric by means of interlacement of warp and weft thread that is very complicated intricate structures designs that is possible that is made possible by the name that inventor jacquard mag jacquard the name jacquard machine invented okay that machine invented no this is whatever the here the illustration is there that line diagram is there this diagram is illustrating the jacquard machine how the jacquard machine is operating how the jacquard machine is operating okay this jacquard machine invented by mr mary jacquard okay by conventional jacquard he has put lot of efforts that is story is there i don't want to tell the story in this video clips you please refer the textile books you can get the story behind the invention of the jacquards i'll come to the topic what type of designs can be produced huh? you think you can in the side i will show the photography of jacquard fabrics also okay in this video clip we can watch whatever the number of is now coming okay so complicated designs see i am drawing one designs okay say one drawing is there okay this is a drawing is there very simply any some line carving carvings this is called the carvings okay this is called carvings 
just for your reference i am writing here this is one carving of designs okay is this such a take up see here i am saying such a design is this possible by simple looms any water loom water jet loom or air jet loom or power loom or hand loom by interlacing the warp and weft is it possible is it possible not possible it is not a very complicated this can be painted by the painter this can be a, and this is where one example i am drawing here such a design can be incorporated say this is this is of red this is of the green this is of the yellow this again here there is one flower will come okay so simply it such a designs can be incorporated in the loom by using the jacquard okay see how it is the mechanism is there now i will come to the okay here to produce this by using a threads interlacement okay how many shedding is required we can't expect we can't expect shedings how many shedding is required how many in this c writing here this is a picture this is a picture i'm showing here this is a black no okay okay this is totally a one picture i'm showing you this is a fabric is there in this fabric this is the length of fabric how many warp threads are there the warp threads are there these are the longitudinal threads these are the longitudinal threads and these are the picks that is weft threads this is woven fabric this is not a this is woven fabric in this woven fabric even in what the plain longitudinal threads are there and horizontal threads are there same warp and weft are there in this also okay now but how many threads are required see to produce this this part this produce this uh, shape the shapes of see how many shapes are there see how, to produce this shape how many threads are there 1 2 3 there is there should be particular time to time changes of the shed is required time to time every frequent changes of thread is required on what basis there is a repeat i am telling you whatever i have drawn here suppose you understand this is whatever i have drawn here this is a repeat is there okay this is one repeat in one repeat how many warp threads are there here i am telling to produce one thread i am telling this produce to to produce one repeat say longitudinal threads are required 800 threads are required 800 just i am saying 800 longitudinal threads are there here picks are required 400 450 picks are required to produce one design jacquard design 800 warp threads and 450 picks are required okay this one repeat in 800 in 800 threads how many threads at particular intervals at particular intervals how many sheddings are required to form how many colors of threads or picks has to go into the shed per minute it to produce a jacquard a high speed jacquard machine this is one repeat very fine within a, within a fraction of a minute such designs are produced assume that in 800 threads okay every frequent thread here 20 threads are to be for first pick 20 threads are to be left for second pick 10 picks are to be 10 threads are to be left for third pick 100 threads 100 warp threads are to be left for fourth pick for fifth pick say for the 10th pick 25 picks 25 warp threads are picked so for each and every insertion of the picks the number of threads calculated threads to be left that is warp longitudinal warp threads to be left how it is possible 
then the low in the dobby maximum 16 to 40 to 48 head heels can be accommodated but to produce such a jacquard mesh design even 1000 1500 2000 3000 i can't say the number how much it depends upon the it depends upon the the width of the fabric jacquard fabric the width of the fabric in a width of the fabric, apart from the selvage, how many threads are there in the warping zone? How many threads are there in warping? Say 3000, 4000 or 6000, 8000, 13000, 20000. It also depends upon the fineness of the yarn, thickness of the yarn or grams per square meter of the fabric. Okay. Based on the grams per square of the fabric, based on the number of colors of threads are used, based on the number of how many threads are there in each and every thread from left selvage to right selvage, how many threads, what are the threads to be lift at what peak? Suppose example in a width, 5000 threads are there. In 5000 threads, in in for every 10 picks, how many sheddings are to be made? 10 sheddings are to be made. So, how many heels are 100, 200, 300 heels are required? Even more than that heels are required. Sometimes each and every individual warp threads to be picked. Sometimes each and every individual, say five, out of 5000 yarn, sometimes individual yarns to be picked to place the, to place the, Picks. So, to achieve this individual lifting of the yarns or longitudinal yarns or threads, the each and every individual yarns are picked, that is lifted individually by means of needle and hooks in the jacquard machine. Needle and hooks. Okay. That I will come to the next part because Next part, I will explain the mechanism. Okay, in jacquard, understand in jacquard, each and every individual warp threads from in the warping zone huh, are going to lift to make the sheddings. Okay, to produce such a designs. In case of dobby, only small small motifs are possible, but in case of jacquard. Okay, many complicated, any complicated designs can be produced because in jacquard options are there to insert what out of 5000 threads, which threads is to be lift, which, test, which threads, how many threads to be lift at a time or how many threads to be get down or each and every threads is operated in jacquard machines. So that the designs can be achieved. Even though jacquard mechanism is very complicated and designs are complicated, to achieve this fabric is also complicated. Now the technology is developed, very high speed jacquard machines are there. Okay, So there is no question of achieving the productions and production efficiency. Okay, So please watch my next video on jacquard mechanism I will explain. Okay. Hope you have understood on this introduction to jacquards. Okay. Please like it and share it and please subscribe my channel Guru Vira Tutorials, Guru Vira Textile and Fashion Technology Tutorials. Okay. Those who have not subscribed. Thank you very much.